All right, let's get to this Jordan Peterson cringe. Because at least something makes me happy. I personally did not watch this on purpose because I wanted this to be a fresh react. It's so good. Okay. Man. He's so off the rails. It's nuts. Dude. Yes. I love him. Okay, here we go. He's an intellectual giant. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, just no. I'm jealous that, no, like, you're right. The, the, the supremely confident intellectual big brain genius of our era. Alpha. Yes. The, the alpha is like, you know, talking about who he cannot wank to. Like, this is what is, this is what is intellectual he's conversation. Been talking up, yeah, to his daughter. He's been oh. talking about this issue for like a month now. He can't get over that someone who was like, yeah, sl like a little bit overweight. Yeah, was he on went the from cover. like, what will we do without men to what will we do without see ladies? I want to jerk off to. Fat chicks are ruining America. Yeah. Michaela, don't let me catch you catching any, putting on any weight up. Yes. I'll fucking disown you. Yeah. All right, let's watch this dance. All right. Tweet it out. Sorry, not beautiful. And then everyone. So died. Sorry. I already got to pause it. Sorry, not. Sorry. Tweet it out. Sorry, not beautiful. Sorry. And then everyone got upset. Yes, they did. They had a rather overweight young woman with a very revealing swimsuit on the cover. And I thought, it was no. not. Okay, sorry. Shut the up jordan it was like not it was, it was a normal fairly swimsuit. modest it was a normal swimsuit that bitch was not even covering her disgusting body it made me spit it's just show like, that pull up that picture it's like fucking tame it's a normal it's a normal swimsuit Dude, i don't know why jordan he peterson that. become isis yeah I, I that's the fun i mean of course he's also apparently talking to a lot of like muslim content creators this Jordan is Peterson is huge in the Islam world, by the way. For those of you who don't know, oh my god, really? oh one million percent, yeah. yes. I got Turkish homies oh, being like, hey, in my hometown, we have the highest Muslim population they in the U.S. That? They all love Jordan Peterson. Yeah, he what do is. they love about him? They're just what do you the traditional. Because he's a fucking fundamentalist. He's like a. He's like a. He's the perfect person because he is a. You know, he's a Christian Wahhabist. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he he literally will. Um, he he's liberal enough to not be like super offensive you know what i mean he's canadian it's like impossible for him to be like super offensive and the american muslim population is also very progressive and very liberal in many ways right like they are they're way more liberal than the white evangelical protestants so i think he comes across as like appealing while still simultaneously seeing the world from uh like you know a a, a religious perspective so he gives them the tools to to feel better about like practicing well while this, still holding on to a thin veneer of progressivism this is what um he describes as a scantily clad bikini yeah, they had a rather overweight young woman with a very revealing swimsuit on the cover Stupid and ass. i thought no the cover ver bothered me a lot because it was <laughs> a cheap manipulation of something that had been working very well for sports illustrated it was also an insistence <laughs> that all of a sudden this non-athletic body is as beautiful as the standard swimsuit Bro. model. It's not. It's not as athletic, and it's not as healthy. And that's that. And then it's a lie that's a manipulation of that young like woman. They're not on her side. They're exploiting her. And she may Wait, be participating in that exploitation, but they're still exploiting her. She, he, he's, like, he's like a little kid. Like, aren't you getting that energy from him being like, I... No, and that's that. No. I could not find it attractive, and that made me very uh, usually, mad. Usually I'm able to bust in a couple minutes when my new Sports Illustrated arrives, but I couldn't, I couldn't come. Yeah, he's like. I was, it ruined my whole week, Michaela. He's Sorry, like a little not kid. not beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, not oh, beautiful. God. But his whole thing is weird. Like, dude, it's just one cover, bro. They're not trying to fucking make you attracted. To also, her. like... She, they're just trying to be representative of no. yeah. women. Sports Illustrated, not like, serious. you know, 11 months of the year is showing you all the fucking unrealistic beauty standards that are com impossible to achieve without steroids and, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars that you dump into, like, a having a food specialist control every facet of your diet. And then also on top of that, a fuckload of Photoshop. And like, he's not crying about that. Like you could bust the nut for 11 months, dog. It's fine. Like the one month where they're like, we're going to do the swimsuit issue and it's going to reflect That's the it. reality it's of just, women on the ground. It's just for one months. cover, bro. Chill the fuck out, dude. And, and again, like as we found out, the internet likes thick women more than they like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> so yeah, that yes. was great. You know, I think what happened was it be, I don't, he didn't break this story. It became this culture war issue amongst 
cons- his conservative cohorts, and he saw it as a thing he could jump on. And I think he took it too fucking far. And a lot of people were like, dude. Yeah, dude, like my girlfriend looks chill, like that. Bro. Chill, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, a lot of his fans. Uh, but anyway, here. Let- An athletic body is as beautiful as the standard swimsuit model. It's not. It's not as athletic and it's not as healthy. And that's that. And then it's a lie that's a manipulation of that young woman. They're not on her side. They're exploiting her. And she may be participating in that exploitation. This is like a whole yeah, no, little totally. extra layer he's trying to put on there to uh, justify being it's a so, douche. It's so like paternalistic where you're like, oh, I'm saving you from what? They a tremendous amount of financial success and admiration. <laughs> <laughs> they Thanks, don't Jordan. care about you. Thanks. Yeah. What? Why? Because Based like they why. said you're beautiful just the way you are. Wow. That's so exploitative. I hate that. Parents. You are, oh God, oh no, oh no. This is male yes, beauty. Yes, yes, yes. Oh God, oh God. They should put me up there with my daughter. Both of us naked, bodies glistening in the sun. A dilf? Wait, that picture literally exists. I just realized. Oh yeah, that is. The cover of uh, her book or whatever. Yeah. Oh my God, the cover of that book is fucking insane, you guys. Michaela, his daughter, wrote a book about her all meat diet, and the cover is truly <laughs> insane. Um, Here it is. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> he did. He does look good. He there, looks though. great. He looks great there. He does not look like that anymore. I don't. He looks Adil? fantastic. Also, the funniest thing is like this cover. Like, did she make it herself? It has real like graphic design is my passion energy. Yeah, yeah eight it, different fonts on there. It's like <laughs> no, it, the placement is all wrong. Jordan Peterson looks like a tiny person. Like, and he's it, in front of her. Yeah, it's so strange. Like, right, how yeah. did you make this, dude? It's it, it's art. This it's is like literally a, this is it, art. This is it reminds me of like a like a, a landing page from the '90s. That's like a total scam. It's so good. It's 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 great. I respect that. I respect uh, what's that the bottom say? How to cure depression and disease with meat only, motherfucker! You really you're a PhD psychologist and you put that on a book, you quack well, she, ass fuck. Uh, yeah, she he let him see. He's on. He's I guess they co-wrote it. Yeah, jo- yeah, Jordan and Michaela Peterson. Didn't yeah. th- this came out right? Like within a year before his whole like yes. medical breakdown, right? Yes. Yes. Oops. Yes. Guess that didn't work. Yeah. Yes. He he started doing this, and then apple cider almost killed him, and then <laughs> benzos almost killed him, right? And then COVID almost killed him. Yes. All directly related to Michaela Peters. Yes. The yes. True dragon yes. of chaos. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's finish this because the, yeah. the best part's coming but, up. But yeah, the, the exploitation concept is like really silly because, you know, it, what, what, what's up? Like, parents are exploiting their children when they instill confidence in them by saying, you can actually be good at soccer if you try hard enough. That's bullshit. <laughs> Tell them they're destined for a lifetime <laughs> of failure instead. Sorry. It's not. Be honest. Your kid is just not good. He's <laughs> a fucking loser. Yeah. I stop parents when I see them complimenting their children. I say, don't do it. Be honest for once in your life, man. (laughs) Your kid is ugly. He's a pathetic fucking loser. Yes. He's going to die alone. Yeah, make them less confident so they'll become ample, servile little piglets for my self-help book. He's going to need 12 steps (laughs) and another 12. Maybe even another 12. Your son fucking sucks. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Your son's gonna need all 36 steps. And that's that. Yeah. Be honest. Your little girl's looking a little f- chubby there, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Jordan Peterson yelling at parents because he can't jerk off to their daughters. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you mean I can't go back to the playground? This is I... where I find out whether the next generation will be sexy or not. Excuse me, ma'am, I can't but help but notice your 12-year-old girl is eating ice cream. <laughs> She's a little overweight, don't you think? Yeah, it's just... Dude, that's the best part about, like, politics and the way that it is now and the way that it's consumed now. It's like, normally, in every other uh, in every other period in time and throughout history, that guy would have been like, you're a psycho, get the fuck away from me, right? Like, that would be the reaction. But now it's like, actually, that man is a brilliant uh, intellectual thinker, a giant. Uh, a, a pillar of success and uh and that's and why i'm black pilled don't you because think pe- because people like ted cruz oh, are God. taken seriously yeah and it's just like okay well, well ted cruz is like barely a fucking human being so 
All right, let's just finish this clip out. But they're still exploiting her. So don't pull any moral stunts on me because you're irritated about my opinion when it's bloody clear to anybody with eyes that that was manipulative in 20 different ways. Not everyone's a genius. Not everyone's Picasso. Not everyone's young and healthy. Not everyone is a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, period. Picasso and fuck and you if you don't like it. Oh, yeah, he's getting spicy I with think it. You need the Jordan, I don't like Jordan without benzos. He's too... We need to get him back on. No, I love that. this. This is my favorite Jordan Peterson. I've actually decided, like, I want him to weekly tell us, like, what he can't jerk off to. And this then week, have, like, all of his fucking fan base be like, yeah, this is this is intellectual thought. This week, I opened uh, a porn hub, and I noticed there was a BBW. Yeah. And Fuck I could, you. and she was way too fat. So I clicked off that one. I want to only watch Sissy Hypno. Sissy it's okay. Hypno. It's okay when you watch it. <laughs> I was it's hypnotized. All right. <laughs> Fuck I, you. And then I saw a young lady. She had a giant dildo. She was peg. It's called pegging. And I was very intrigued by that. And that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it is fine. If yeah, that's of what you're into. I don't think Jordan Peterson. She was Peterson stroking is herself time, absent-mindedly. And then oh, I God, saw oh, one God. about my gr grandma, a gil, a, a, a gilf. Okay, that's and not I, fine. And I thought to myself, boy, she reminds me of my grandma. I'm I'm not king shaming except for that one thing that he wrote in his book about his grandmother's pubic hair. That's like, don't do that. Sometimes I think about my grandmother when I masturbate. It had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. Oh, she stop. had oh, long God. pubic hairs that stretched down to her ankles. Her genital region was exposed dimly. When I was a child, I'd shower with my grandma and swing on her pubes like monkey bars. Okay, okay, okay. I let her have her way. <laughs> Fuck Some, you. Sometimes I'd wear her pubes like a scarf and pretend I was Little Red Riding Hood. And fuck you if you don't like it. Fuck you. My grandma's meat curtains are low okay, as well. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. I would wear yes. them like a yes. hat. Stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Please, please. Fuck you, son of a bitch. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> I agree with you on that one. He's so funny, though. He's he is actually a ray of light in an otherwise dark and miserable landscape. I yeah. thank him. He makes me very happy. It makes me very happy when he's running around talking about what he what upsets him that he can't jerk off to. And, like, for those of you who say, like, back in the day, he used to do more serious commentary. He's like, no, he literally would talk about Frozen and shit, dog. You he just... was more serious. <laughs> He's really lost his mind, okay. really. He wasn't this off the rails, bro. He, he was He was he trying wasn't. to apply, like, Jungian, uh, you know, uh, critique onto, you know, popular culture and, and doing a horrible job at it, too. Like, it was just... Dude, he uh, wasn't as off the rails, man. He's fucking off the rails bro i don't know i think he's always off the rails i think people just didn't know yeah exactly he I, wasn't it, he wasn't on twitter being like fuck you if you think she's pretty yeah he was fuck you. writing in his book about how he fantasized about beating up children though that's true oh for real i haven't read that excerpt you know that's in the bible <laughs> as a bald man you perhaps should read it 30 bears come attacking the children for making fun of a bald man that's right that's, that's in the that. old testament the good one Baldophobia is a real crime. <laughs>